All right, we got them all cut up and cleaned up. And now we're gonna go ahead and start packaging them. Um, we're gonna do about four of them for us as whole chickens. We're gonna put them in the bag, put them in the uh, turkey fryer to seal them up. And then the rest of them, we're gonna cut up into different sections and vacuum seal them. So let's get started with the whole chickens. We're gonna be using these packs or these bags that you can get that'll shrink it with the heat of the water. And then we're gonna tie them up with some zip ties. It's a pretty easy process. So I'm gonna grab some of these out of the ice water here. So I like to try to get it down into the bottom of the bag, corner. And then you take this little flexible straw, you stick it in with it. That's gonna help vacuum the air out of the bag. And then you just twist it up. And I'm going to, oh, I guess my gloves over there. I'm just gonna get one of these zip ties started. And then I'll put the glove on and we'll get it sealed up. For this process, you want the water to be about 180 to 195, which is right about where we have it. And then all you do with your ho or with your uh, straw in that bag, you just set it down in the water. It only takes a couple seconds, and then you take it back. Up. You remove the straw, and you package it up tight. And there you have a tightly sealed chicken just like you would get in a supermarket. Let me just do that with the other four, or the three. All right, and there you have it. Four wrapped chickens ready for the freezer. Now we're gonna get started cutting up the other chickens and getting it ready to be vacuum sealed. So now we're going to start doing our chicken portions. Hmm. Alright, we're going to start by taking off the thigh. To take off the legs, you want to cut this skin right here and it just opens up a natural seam. And you just take it right back to that bone. And it opens right up. I'll do the same on this side. And right down that seam. To that bone. You just pop it open. You can see the joint there. Just kind of cut right through the joint. And there is one leg portion. We'll cut that up later. Again, you just Press down, expose that joint. Cut up to the joint. And cut back to the joint. And there's another leg portion. So then the wing, kind of the same idea. Just cut up to the wing. If 
find the joint. You can use the shears for it too if you want. There's one wing portion. Same thing. Do this again. Find the joint. Through the joint. There's your other wing portion. So then the breast, this is where I'll switch knives. I'm going to cut the breast off so you can see boneless chicken breast. I try to leave the skin on. Um, a lot of these I'm just going to be grinding up into Hamburg, but I will show you how to take off the one. Um, so as you can see, there's a natural seam here. There's actually a bone in there, cartilage and bone. So you just want to cut alongside that bone. All the way back. And then all the way to the front. And then you're just going to get your fingers in there and peel it back as you're Skimming the knife across the bone. Pretty much just wants to fall right off the bone. There's one breast portion, skin on. And then you just do the same thing, but on the other side of the bone. So you just find the bone, cut down along the side. And then you just take your knife and skim it down alongside the bone while pulling back with your fingers. extra skin there just cut that off and there's your second breast and the rest of this you can scrape as much meat off as you want and then make hamburg out of it which is probably what we're going to be doing but then we'll make these into hamburg and then we'll package these up separate so i'm just going to put these to the side until we can cut them up we'll put these off to the side and we'll start with the leg portion. So this is your drumstick that you're going to find in the store. And this is your thigh. In order to separate the two, you can feel a joint right in here. So then you're just going to cut right along that joint. And again, you can use scissors for this too. And you can feel it pop. There's that joint. Actually cut right through once you get that popped and then so there's your drumstick and then here is your thigh so we'll just do it again and then find that joint cut through the joint and then just flip it over Cut through the skin. There's your drumstick. And there's your thigh. So then the wings. You got three sections of the wing. You got the plate the part that nobody likes, the wing tip. So we just we cut those off. And we'll 
we'll just discard those. And then I just cut up through the skin here. And then there's a joint again, just feel around for it, you'll find it. There's a joint right there. So you cut through the joint. Find that cartilage, doesn't hurt your knife. And then up through. And so here's your wing, and here's your drumlet. Drumlet, whatever. So those are your wing portions. So again, we'll do it on this one here. We'll cut up through the skin. Find that joint. Cut through the skin here. All right, and there's your drumlet and your wing. So those are the portions that I'm going to be using. So then we'll just have to package these up. We'll let, like I said, we'll be vacuum sealing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. So you don't have to sit here and watch us do all of it. And we'll get back to you when we're ready to vacuum seal. One pound of hamburger or chicken burger. We'll just do that with the rest. So this one here it does a double seal, which is why it takes too a little longer. It does a double seal and then it automatically cools it down so you don't have any kind of delay in the process. My other vacuum sealer, you run about 25 bags through and then you got to let it cool off for several minutes or else it won't function or won't seal properly. And then you'll get a double seal at the top. I just flatten it down to make it a little easier in the freezer. All right, and here's the finished product of the vacuum sealed stuff. We have one chicken breast, three things of drumsticks, some burger, three things of wings, and some thighs. So this is what we have to put in our freezer this year from those 14 birds. Um, we started off after we dispatched them, I weighed them and it was 99.45 pounds. Um, after we took the feathers off, the feet, the head and the guts, we were left with a dressed weight or a hanging weight of 75.25 pounds. Um, so this is what we got off the birds. Um, don't forget the, the bones, uh, the, the actual chest cavities and stuff of the birds that you can <laughs> boil down for bone stock and uh, whatever else you want to use that for. All right, well, I got to get this into the freezer. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully this was informative or helped you out. If so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, get out and enjoy the outdoors whenever you can, and God bless.